Now, it's long been part of theory of imagination that the purpose of the imagination is not so much to create, but to synthesise and to bring things together. This goes as far back as uh, David Hume's essay on the imagination, where he goes as far to say that the synthesising, per the synthesising concept of the imagination is what links our experiences together, rather like um, frames in a projector creating a film. He has, well, he doesn't have that analogy, of course, but it always strikes me very similar of imagination linking together our life experiences like frames of film linked together through a projector. Um, now, I mentioned David Hume uh, partly to show that there is, you know, I have got something out of a university education, but also to um, try and set it now that imagination does not create as much as put different things together and synthesise and try you know, bits of one and bits of another out and uh, I'm hoping that he will be a bit more convincing than me mainly because you know he had more time to think about these things because uh, he didn't have a telly so um, there we go imagination is syn synthesis if that's the case then our culture is in a really really good place because we've got so much to synthesise We've seen so much. We've seen so many creations before us and, and so many different ways of putting it. We've had operas, we've had films, we've had books, we've had pictures, we've had toy trains, we've had all sorts. There's so much that we've seen, so much more that we've seen than anyone before us ever has. So we've got so much more to play with, so much more to synthesise. So, I suppose we could say that we are at the pinnacle of all civilization, mm, possibly, and we've got the opportunity to make some crazy shit. So hooray for a scrapbook culture, let's just bundle our favourite things together and see what they look like, eh? <laughs>